Sometimes when you want a really quick thing to go with your meal, you don't have time to put together our amazing and classic homemade bread. That's why a quick and simple beer bread can be all that you need, and it really is so delicious. A lot like a baking powder biscuit, this bread goes together so quickly and gets all of its lift from the baking powder. I think you are gonna love this bread, and it has so many variations that you can make your own unique flavors, and I know you're gonna be making it again and again. To start, you just wanna put into a large bowl your all-purpose flour, a little bit of sugar, some baking powder, and a little bit of salt. Mix that together just till it's combined. If you want just a plain beer bread, you can stop right here and have no other additions. I like to jazz mine up a little bit with some different flavorings. For this one, I'm gonna do some different herbs and garlic. I'm using some fresh minced garlic, a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of thyme, and some rosemary. I'm just putting that right into this mix with all the dry ingredients and whisking it together. Once that's combined, just add your can or bottle of beer. You can do really any beer that you like to drink. As I've said before, I don't really drink beer, so I just choose what I think is a decent kind and throw it in. But honestly, you don't have to worry about what kind you're using, just that you need a 12 ounce can. Stir it until it's combined, and as you can see, it kind of comes together like a dough, but it won't be quite what you're used to. and then put it right into a greased loaf pan. Kind of flatten it out a little bit just so it gets to its shape because this dough, unlike other breads, doesn't rise and then go in the oven. It goes directly in the oven, so kind of what it looks like once you put it in the pan is what it will come out as. But it will be rustic and that is exactly what you want. This isn't a picture-perfect loaf bread, but a lot more of a rustic homemade loaf look. Brush the top with some melted butter and then put it right into your preheated 375 degree oven. Once you let the bread cool down a little bit, you can slice it and enjoy it with your family or give it as a gift. It really is the perfect thing to make for an evening meal during the week or as a special treat on a weekend. Try your own spice blends and your own flavorings to make this bread perfect for you and I know you're going to be making it time and again. If you like this video, make sure to click like below. And if you want more of these great videos, click subscribe. I love hearing from you guys, so make sure to comment and I can't wait to see you until next time.